Hello YouTube, License for Gaming here with one mod called the Paint Mod. And the, the more important title for this video is 101 uses for a paintbrush. First, to, to make a paintbrush, you need a stick and some sort of wool. Doesn't matter if it's colored, like so. And you get a paintbrush, and you put another stick, and another paintbrush. Uh, the colors don't vary with the walls, but alternatively you can put the paintbrush, put some dye and you get a red paintbrush with the rose red dye. You can also put dandelion yellow and you get a yellow paintbrush. And if you suddenly uh, do something that you wouldn't like to be in your piece of art, you can just put a stick and nair ingot on top of it and you get a paint chipper which is an eraser. Quite. So, you can use those to draw on blocks, which is pretty much neat. And you might be wondering, what is this colorful nonsense? What is this magical block of doom? Well, you see the end of the video. <gasps> I missed a spot. There we go. Um, so, you can delete stuff. And you can paint on pretty much every block, except those who have a purpose. I mean, when, when you right-click them, uh, they open up a separate menu. But still, you can like overlap a little bit, like two s squares, two pixels of color. And then, of course, you might give yourself a pickaxe, destroy this block, and you see that there's a little red line. So that's the way to paint crafting tables and furnaces and minecart no minecarts not yeah and dispensers especially let's get rid of it uh, the second thing I would like to show you is the glass feature I don't know it's a feature or a bug and I don't know and I don't care you can make a room out of glass and you enter it you enter it and you start painting the glass and magic happens the glass is painted but there's so we go on the other side and you can see through the blocks but you can't see from this side so that's a quite a nifty feature for the mod. Like you can paint over here as well, and you won't see it. The magic of the blocks, indeed. What you can also do is like paint on the ground, like a random black line. Let's say it's a, it's a question mark. Yes, quite a lovely one. You can place a block on top of it. <gasps> what? I didn't know that that could be done. Eh, that's new. You could also place glass blocks and you'll see through. You can destroy the block to erase anything on top of it. Or you could put some water which will delete all the stuff. Oh, you, can, you can't paint underwater, which is sort of realistic. Yes. Mm. You can also make traps with this mod. Uh, first, you can paint the pressure pads and the wooden one. Do -do -do -do. And it oh. works, works quite well. Oh, that's that's interesting. When you step, it disappears. Which reminds me of another thing. Let me just find it. Redstone. You know when that the redstone ore block has two states which make the block emit particles and stay put. Like so. When you step on top of it, it starts to glow. Also when you hit it, it does the same thing. There is something strange with this mod. Just let's wait a sec. To do mm -hmm. Will you stop that? <laughs> anyway, you start painting on it, painty paint, mm -hmm. and you wait. 
and magical things will happen. God, come on! Work! Brr. I don't have the patience, but basically the paint will disappear and the block will be good as new. But I can't. A anyway, we'll just leave it as like so and uh, wait. We have a lot of other things to do. Another nifty trap that I thought of is dig a big hole that will kill your foes. And then <gasps> the paint has disappeared. Magic happens. Oink. Yeah. No. So do you like so? You can pretty much surround it with some block types and I would suggest putting ha half steps on top so your victim can't get out of it like so and you take your paintbrush and you start painting the floor black and you can draw other things but the the idea is that it's painted in black. No, actually it's in red, but anyway. You should paint it in red, but I kind of screwed it up and painted it in black. Anyway, this should be red. And then, you initiate fly mode. Yes, indeed. Mm, and you start painting the whole thing black. Painting black by the rolling stones. Sadly, it takes quite a long time to set the trap. But it's really nifty. And it's quite unpleasant. And you can put everything in the very bottom of the hole. Which will destroy and annihilate your foes. As you can see, or as actually you can't see, you, you don't actually notice the pit. And you're walking along. Ow! Oh, you fell. That's not good. Uh, you should actually continue to paint it. Like I painted the hole. A really big hole, but <laughs> I deleted this world because I had a lot of shit going on in it. Let's finish up this pit. This mighty pit of doom. Link. There we go. Let's place another half step here. Get a sign from nowhere. That's it. And say step on last block for magics to happen. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Also, let's get... No, it's, it looks good. And you're walking... Oh, shit! And now you're trapped. And you can obviously dig a really, 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 really big hole. And your game could start lagging shit, but it's not a big deal. And you proceed mining until you reach bedrock. Then you know that your target is going to die in horrible pain and it will suffer no it's really small let's proceed <gasps> redstone no not you <laughs> screw you yep yep let's actually paint one more layer it's fun do 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 And you can also draw paintings on the way down, so your un your unlucky enemy <laughs> will be entertained while going to his or her death. 
And there's one more way to torture people. I don't know if you can actually do it without using give commands or my favorite too many items. But you can give yourself a cobweb. You go to the very bottom and like put it uh, two or three blocks from the from the end. This is annoying as shit. So you're basically wow shit I fell. Oh no, I'm going to die. Oh, the cobweb is going to save me. That's nice. How am I going to get out? And yeah, you you get annoyed to death until you reach the block. But wha what will happen next when you reach this mighty block of doom? This box. Oh shit. That's right. You die. This isn't Terraria. You die when facing cobweb. When I'm uh, not facing cobweb, but when you fall. And there's cobweb. Now, where was I? Oh, I can see my very block of doom. Yeah, I can't forget about it. Yeah, pressure pad, this, that, and. Yeah, I also. You can also, like. Lottery. Uh, get yourself a lever. Where's the lever? Yeah, it kind of makes more sense. Let's get low 2. No, not low 2. Uh, let's get half blocks actually. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Oh, these are good. You can actually make it a little bit longer. Uh, oh, Uff, what am I doing? Oink. Oink. You can actually take your paint and color the block with a lot of colors and have fun. Oh, stop it. Oh, no, 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 not good, not good. Yeah. And yeah, our l our lovely message read the end, reach the end for oh no not frog for a special gift of sorts. No, I can't. And wait. Yes. And you reach the end and you fall to your doom. Your very slow doom. And that's a very creative way to kill your enemies. And I'm sure they'll have a lot of fun while falling and dying. And you should do that. You can draw a line. Oh shit. That wasn't supposed to happen. Don't try this at home, kids. And doop. And there we go. Warning! Oh, I don't have a paint chipper anyway. Warning! Beware! Can you actually paint? No, you can't. And now for my special, special, special surprise. Do you remember the magic block that we are going to make horrible? With points. Oh no. Uh, I'm actually just having fun now. It's a very vital thing to do. Do 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 do. And there's your mystery block of doom. What will happen when I push the button? But of course, it's TNT disguised as a Rubik's cube of some sort. Oh shit! What now?